you doing? <laughs> what you doing? Hey. Join. Okay, welcome back to Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. I'm Todd. Sassy. Sassy Kitchen Queen. Queen. So I'm Todd, the Kitchen King. No. So. Only room for one royalty in this house. So Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. Actually, the dogs are in charge. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them anywhere. Yeah, there, there's one of them. So, anyway, um, we got a special treat for you today. Actually, tonight, um, it's always a treat around here. Uh, we're going to do some chicken legs. And, uh, chicken wings. Chicken wings. Um, there's a few little drum drumettes in there too, and then there's the wings a little bit too. And uh, we're taking them right out of the package. I think they're Foster Farms or some other chain farm, and uh, we're gonna take them off now. What you would, what you should do if you have time is when you take these out of the package, you should pat them dry away from your sink to avoid con contamination, and then you want to put them on a rack. And if you have the time, put them in your fridge overnight, let them dry out, because that's the secret to really crispy skin and be gentle with it. Um, we didn't do that, so we're gonna just pat them dry as much as we can. Uh, the crispy skin isn't exactly what we're looking for. Uh, we're looking for the taste first. But if you're really into the skin, that helps out a I lot. I like crispy skin. And we patted them dry as much as we can, so, so we'll give it a shot. So uh, let's get cracking. Okay, so here's our chicken wings. As you can see, uh, these were three packages that we got at the local box store, and uh, quite a few of them were these legs, these little drumettes, and then we got the little wings here as well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some of the sweet money rub that's- uh, Honey. Sweet, sweet money. Says money? Says oh. money, baby. Oh, okay. So it's got a lot of, uh, Sorry. <laughs> a lot of nice uh, herbs and spices in there, but it's uh, sweet. Um, it's got some nice color to it. Um, and uh, I like a little bit of sweet when it comes to chicken and poultry. So it's kind of sweet, huh? Um, you know, it's got garlic and salt and all those things that you would want in a good dry rub for your chicken. And then we're obviously going to use a hot sauce. So you use a hot sauce of your choice here. Obviously, for those that, that don't really want straight hot sauce, which is a pretty bad thing, you want to knock it down with some honey. So we're going to use maybe a a cup or two of honey in there and then we're gonna put a few dollops of, of butter and then bring that up to temperature and kind of make our own sauce but what we're gonna do first is coat all these delicious wings with the dry rub and get it on our Weber kettle be sure to stay away from your sink when it comes to poultry because the splatter will contaminate your sink and that's where the leading cause of salmonella and a lot of other nasty stuff comes from so Get a nice cooking sheet that's uh, non-porous and uh, stay away from your sink. So I'm also going to use only one hand to touch the poultry. The other hand I'm going to stay on the dry rub and I'll try to keep it that way as much as I can. Okay, so these are still kind of oozing a little bit of moisture so I'm just going to give it one last pat down just to make sure that it's nice and dry. Again, if you have the time, put these in your fridge on a, on a cooling rack and let that air circulate for 24 hours and it will dry them out really well. Again, that is the secret to uh, nice crispy skin. So, so we're just gonna give these a nice coat. So there's plenty of recipes for your own rub on these things. Doesn't need a lot because we're gonna sauce these. But uh, go ahead and put your favorite poultry rub on there. Again, we're using sweet money because I like the sweet taste. It's a little tangy, it's got some lemon in there, some other herbs. And when we sauce it, gonna really make it pop. Remember, you don't want too much of this rub on there because uh, this is not really the uh, the main thing that's going to really make that uh, uh, skin crisp up. Um, so if you 
Another thing that I didn't add is a little bit of baking powder. Baking powder is another little trick to get a real crispy skin, but uh, we're not putting that in here. We're just strictly going with the, uh, the rub. And Do you mean baking soda? Baking powder. Okay. okay, as you can see here, we have these, uh, these Weber uh, charcoal baskets right in the middle there. And what we're going to do is we're going to put these wings around the, around, around the, whatever you call it, the circumference. But before I do that, I'm going to put some apple wood in there. And this will really make sure that we got some nice uh, lick of smoke in there. This is what we want. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go around the sides with these. Okay, so since we're dealing with some drummets, I'm going to put the, the meaty part toward the, the fire. pretty good. Now as soon as I close this up, that wood there is going to char up into the coal and work really nicely. All right, as you can see, it's uh, getting right up there to uh, 300 pretty quickly. So I don't want I don't want to let it get much more than 300. And the way I'm going to control that is I'm just going to close this down just a little bit. There we go. And that apple wood that was flaming up now should be uh, not burning anymore and I should be just making some nice coal. All right, while those uh, chicken wings are starting to set up on the, on the Weber smoker, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make some of this uh, wing sauce here. So again, your favorite hot sauce right in there. And that's pretty harsh stuff, so we're going to cool these down so to speak a little bit with a few good sized dollops of honey that's probably about a quarter cup that I decided to use right there that should do it and you want to get that come up to temperature and then throw in a couple three chunks of butter and stir Again, this is my recipe, and uh, if you guys want to try something else, more than happy, but I think you guys are going to like this. And I just happen to be using some tapatio as the base for the hot sauce. Again, you guys use whatever you want. And that's just what I decided to use. So I'm going to let this cook down a little bit, and we're going to go check on those wings. A few weeks ago, we introduced you to our new camera, the Alpha 6400, and uh, and although we're not a real techie uh, channel here, um, you know, I, I could definitely say that this is a great camera. It's uh, highly rated. There's a million videos here on YouTube and elsewhere to tell you all about it. And right now, it's uh, about 7.40, 7.40 in the evening here on, uh, in California. And it's about 10 minutes after sunset. As you can see, this thing's got some really great low light uh, capability. I'm going to point the camera here due west, kind of show you the direction in which the sun set. And uh, not bad, not bad, I'd say. Um, my phone's got some pretty good low light capability too, but it just uh, it kind of lacks in uh, a few things. And uh, and this Alpha is, is really awesome. I was kind of skeptical that uh, Sony made a quality camera, but apparently they do. They have been for a long time. I always thought Sony was uh, more of a car stereo company. So, at any rate, um, you know, I don't know if I'm ever going to do a, uh, a review or anything on this camera, but if you guys are interested in it, hit me up in the comment section below and just tell me you'd like to see a, a review of this uh, camera. Um, but there's a million videos out there, and you can go check them all out. And, uh, Tell me what you think. All right. So that thing's chugging along really nicely. 
I just opened up the vents all the way. I like to see a little bit more. I like to see a little bit more like 350 over here. Uh, it's slowly creeping up there. Um, it's got a lot of smoke because that cherry wood is adding a lot of smoke to that chicken right now, which is fine. It'll probably burn out probably in the next half hour or so. And just to give you a quick little peek, what's going on under there? There you go. It's already got a really nice color. Again, we're going to do this uh, hot and fast. Um, probably in about a half hour, I'm going to flip them around. And, uh, and then it should be ready for saucing. And then I'm going to crank down the temperature a little bit. Looks really good. So I end up putting a little bit more honey in there. Just take the edge off a little bit. The honey is also going to help it uh, get a nice little glaze. Maybe even a little crunchiness. Okay, and I'm going to go on back outside. See what the old Weber's doing. Okay. So I just turned all the chickens. Looks like it's uh, holding pretty steady. Just a little bit shy of uh, on the north side of 350. It's kind of where I want it, but uh, don't want to get much higher than that. Sunshine. All right. I think uh, I introduced you guys to Sunshine last time, and uh, she's taken to living here with us really well. She's a little critter right there. So we think she's maybe 10 months old now. She's getting along pretty good. Yeah, she's doing all right. Okay, so that chicken's probably gonna go probably another 20, 30 minutes like that. Then I'm gonna take them off and get them covered up in that sauce that we made. Then they're gonna go back on the Weber, but I'm gonna crank that temperature down closer to 250 and go for maybe another half hour to 45 minutes after that. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna work on right now is getting these uh, sauced up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this in here. Babe, I asked you to be back there. You're not the boss of me. I had to do that because of the S F stop. It's a little light. Okay. So these I'm just gonna basically I'm gonna give each one just basically quick dousing. So basically after about oh two and a half hours on the, uh, the Weber Kettle 22, we got our chicken wings. So on the left we have the dry ones, we didn't do any sauce. They're not dry, they're juicy looking. And on the right we have the ones that I used my sauce with the uh, honey butter and tapatio. Definitely admit it's a little hot, uh, hopefully the honey kind of calms it down a little bit. So babe, why don't you take a taste of yours? Okay. I'm gonna use because they're hot. How does that look? Let me see the inside there. Okay, what do you think? I like that rub. Uh-huh. The honey money. A little hot, huh? Cook hot. Mm. 
Kind of sweet, hot. Mm, but see. this has great flavor. How'd the smoke come out? Smoke came out good. Mm -hmm. see. Not too heavy on the smoke, just right, you know? But they're tender. And you see, look. All right, looks good. Okay, one more time, we cooked them for about two and a half hours on the Weber. We used uh, just regular lump charcoal, nothing special about it, and a little bit of apple wood, and uh, some light seasoning. And then we uh, put them in a little round circle on the Weber with the coals in the middle, so it's kind of offset. And uh, then we sauced half of them, a little bit more than half, with some homemade sauce, well, tapatio plus honey and butter. And it came, came out really hot. And uh, <laughs> at least that tapatio anyway. Um, I might try one. I might go in for one. Are right. they real hot? Yeah, they're pretty hot. Let's see, I'm gonna take a taste right now. Okay, so this is the uh, tapatio and honey butter sauce. Mm. It's a hot cake. So it's definitely uh, with tapatio. It's definitely got that kind of south of the border kind of bite. Mm. The honey kind of helps calm it down a little bit. Pretty good honey. You can taste the honey kind of on the back of your tongue, and the butter just kind of yeah, it's kind of a creamy, kind of a velvety kind of texture to the whole thing. Mm. Mm. So good. So it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. Well, if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, share it with your friends. If you're watching this video, be sure to subscribe and uh, hit the bell and uh, so you get updates to our next video. And uh, any questions and recipes that you might have, we'd love to hear about it down in the description, in the comments. Hit us up anytime and also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter and all those things. So anyway. Instagram, the Sassy Kitchen Queen. Hashtag Sassy Kitchen Queen. Mm. 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 Babe, that's enough. Mm. Really good. Mm -mm. All right, see you guys.